guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, lovers and haters, I am back. And today we're going to be talking about the illusion of separation. And to illustrate that better, I have two things that are going to help me with this. One of them is this beautiful painting right behind me here. I call it Our Heart. I developed this painting just like in the last uh, two weeks, maybe, not even, yeah, just about two weeks. And the idea here is I'm trying to create is a feeling, and it's not just our heart, as in you and I, as in our heart, the whole humanity and everyone. But it started first with myself. It started first with my acceptance of who I am, my self-love, and the things that I wanted to create into the world. From the moment that I was connected with that and I have a feeling of authenticity as I was moving forward, you know, connected to my message and my purpose, that heart began to expand and grow and, and radiate this all this different energy. You know, and I've been inviting everyone into it. This beautiful, amazing, our heart that encompasses everyone involved. To bring that uh, illustration into how is it that self-love comes into a big play into your everyday life and your everyday relationships, I have this little handy tool here that sometimes I use it for painting with. Well, I have a different one for painting. This one is still clean. However, the point of the matter here is I'm trying to illustrate is that the only thing that can get in the way of this magnificent piece of art that is you, that is your heart, it's not the painting I'm talking about. I'm talking about your heart, right? This magnificent, amazing, beautiful piece of art that is your heart, this place where you choose to Keep all your safest, most beautiful, precious memories of everything that has ever impacted you in a positive and negative way. Everything about you is right here, right? The choices that you make about love, the choices that you make about trust, the choices that you make about even exercise, it's all right there. It's all about your heart, right? So, what keeps people from their greatness is the gap. What keeps people from their greatness is the gap that we create in our heart with this little thought process here. Sometimes we might be feeling really good and wholesome and amazing. And then we have this, light, this tiny little negative thought that sneaks in there. You know, and then we're like, oh shit. Oh, maybe he's right. Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm not smart enough. Maybe I'm not talented enough. Maybe I'm not hot enough. Maybe I'm not skinny enough. Maybe I'm not young enough. May and look what's happening. You are feeding this weapon. You are now that was something that was just a little sliver of a thought has expanded into this menacing piece of steel that you know what it's going to do? I'll show you what it's going to do and right now. You know what it's going to do? It's going to go right here, right in between this amazing heart of yours and do this. Create a separation. Now all of it that you thought that was whole, all of it that you thought that was love, all of the memories that were so safely kept in there and those feelings of reassurance and love and belonging are now not really there anymore. Why? Why are they not there? You know why? Because you allowed all of these limiting thoughts, all of this negativity, you allowed the little mistress of failure to whisper in your ear all of the seductive little things that she normally does to get you out of your path and into where she wants, which is the comfortable place of pain and misery and, and, and victimhood. So you listen to her and then the thing turns into a weapon. That weapon now, it found its way right there, right between your heart. And you know what? This separation here makes a little bit of a noise. You know what that noise is? Is you believing what it's telling you. The whispers now are voices, and the voices are deeper, and the voices are louder, and you are fucking listening to it. What 
is it? What is it that they tell you? That you're not good enough? That it's just out of your league? You might as well quit because he's so much better than you? Because you're never gonna look like that? Because you're, why? What is it? What is this? What is it? What is it that you're feeding? Because it doesn't matter how beautiful and magnificent and gigantic everything else is, that gap that was like this big, look how much bigger it is now. Because of what? Because you're feeding it. Because you're choosing to make the noise or to listen to the noise. Doesn't matter what everything else around you is screaming at you. All the colors, all the blessings, all the memories, all the health, all the wealth. It doesn't matter how rich you are financially. All of it, it's right in there. All of it, all the blessings of your life, your purpose, why are you put here? All of it now is totally useless. Because what? You're listening to the bullshit. You're listening to all of this stuff that does not serve you to become a better person, a better human, or even fuck that, just for you to be happy. Just for you to go and believe that the things that you want and the things that you need and the things that you, that, that you dream about are 100% attainable if you get rid of this. And you start then, that's what they say, count your blessings. Three, four, Five, six, seven, you know what I mean? They're all over the place. All of this blessings that you have, count them. How grateful are you? And you know what's gonna happen if you start doing that? When you start doing that, when you start to look at the bright side of things, when you start counting the colors as your blessings and remembering all the memories that those colors have created, then this loses all its power. And by continuing and continuing to nourish these two beautiful parts of yourself, you are going to start healing. And by continuing to love and Accept who you are. Eventually, you're going to be whole again. You're going to feel good again. You're going to be complete again. Because you chose to accept. You chose to look at the beauty of who and what you are. Instead of focusing on that tiny little gap, they got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, 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 isn't this so much more peaceful? Doesn't it feel so much better without all of that resistance? All of that attrition, friction, pain? Man, whew. release it back out there and allow yourself to feel this beauty, which is yourself. And then once you have that feeling, that acceptance of your own self-love, then that heart then can become ours, as in the collective ours, all of ours. The best way to help the world is by being your best self. To see the change, to be the change that you wanna see in the world, what is it that you're going to do? Fight more or love more? Give that of which you want the most because it will return to you because this is where you're focusing on giving that of which you want the most. Accept your greatness, accept your authenticity, embrace all of it that has always been you. And from that place, you're gonna have this amazing freedom to be able to love yourself as a whole. And from that point on, the life becomes just an experience of joy because you are already with the best person that you could ever be with, you. Thank you. Lovers and haters, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And if any of this resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and get announcements. And if you are really awesome, you would share it. You know, let other people know. Other people know 
you know, what it is that you are learning about or interested in or maybe you just think I'm totally a nutcase and you just gotta share it for a laugh or two. Either way, go for it. Like, subscribe, click, and share. All right, I'll see you guys the next time. Stay tuned for another